here with Chef Stave at the City Tavern in Philadelphia. It was built in 1773. You are the chef. You are also the host of A Taste of History on PBS. Correct. Tell us a little bit about which, and show us around what, what, uh, where we are right now. Well, right now we're in the subscription room, the most important room I would think in the 18th century because all the news from the old world to the new world kind of came in here. It's also the only room carpeted in the whole building and has a harpsichord. And everything that was important, the sea captains would bring in here. New maps, new ways of maneuvering the ships to treacherous waters was discussed in here. Plus the mail and newspapers from the old country would come in here. Okay, great. Let's go to the next room. So the next two rooms are equally important. There was the exchange, merchant exchange, from 1789 until 1834. Uh, now we call them coffee room A and B because coffee kind of got introduced. Not the first, but got introduced in the colonies here. But this room was purely left for business, so there would be haggling, vinegar over the price of oranges, lemons, spices, etc., nuts, dried food, and they would come right into the harbor from the other side. Now this building was completely redone in the what? It had two fires. It had a fire in 1834 and was demolished in 1854. It wasn't until Henry Truman came here, our president for the Democratic Convention, that it got rebuilt. And it was rebuilt and opened for the bicentennial in 76. But it's an accurate reproduction. There are a few things that are not correct, like electricity, running water, outhouse, etc. Other than that, everything is exactly the same. Matter of fact, the bricks on the outside of the building are bricks from the 18th century. That's amazing. And all the detail is exactly done right. Now, you are the chef here, correct? Chef proprietor and chief bottle washer. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing place. Can we see some more? Absolutely. We're going to come upstairs. The bar is right over here. This was the, the bar room. Uh, small, but uh, in those days you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, hang up to a bar. Close the gate with you. This is the one for you see. This is where the bar used to close in. This is where the word bar came from from barring the, the guests because I would throw a tanker at you. I had yeah. no idea. Yeah. That's where the name comes from. And so before the revolution, three years before, you had a lot of uh, secret meetings in here and a lot of pints of ale was like consumed when people discussed how they're gonna get the British out of here, you know, kind of. Now would a tavern in that time period, would they make their own ale and their own whiskey? Some did, not their own whiskey, but some made their own ale and others had breweries right next to it, like here, there were a brewery across the street of all of them. What was consumed heavy was a lot of cider drinks, a uh, lot of a lot of cognac, a lot of rum, and a good amount of wine. <laughs> all right, let's go upstairs. upstairs. Now, everyone always thinks that Philadelphia is the birthplace of the nation, but you are finding out in, in your research for your next show in Pittsburgh that Pittsburgh had an integral role, role in the founding oh, of our country. more than most people ever would think. And so Pittsburgh kind of gets forgotten because the steel industry, everybody thinks it's steel. Right. There was so much history in Pittsburgh, which is unbelievable. I'm going to explore it all on my next show. Um, George Washington spent a lot of time there. He, yeah. he purchased over 90,000 acres of land in western Pennsylvania. And he almost died when he fell in the Allegheny River in 1754. Come to you. Don't run away. we got a Pittsburgh historian here. <laughs> Now, would people stay here back then? Yeah, they did, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was then uh, an inn. So this room over here is the long room. That's where, that's where George Washington met Lafayette for the first time, August 1st, 77. The Marquis? Uh-huh, right here, right in this room. Also, the celebration of the first Continental Congress was here. The Fort July was here. Everything happened in here. Absolutely. It's the long room. So it's a magnificent room, a lot of atmosphere. And everything was reproduced down to the color of the paint, correct? Everything. Absolutely. And then here we have uh, Washington's favorite room. That was, uh, it's called now the Cincinnati room after the order of Cincinnatus, but uh, that was his room that he held court in it. You see the nice color, Washington blue. It's a lovely place. And then we have one room on the other side, which was for the uh, charter members. Now, you just fed us something absolutely wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about those oysters? <laughs> They're our favorite. There's a fresh oyster, shocked, breaded, flour, egg wash, cornmeal, and then deep fried really quickly so they get crispy and served with an herb remoulade. So the oyster inside is still moist and the outside is crispy. It's a, um, it's cornmeal a is perfect. Cornmeal, yeah. Yeah, 
Has to be called up here. One more room over here. You want to see it, Greg? This is the This is the charter room. This was reserved for the charter members initially. This is on the right out back. Oh, so it was like a was not, was VIP a room, or it was for the for the, the founding charter members, right here. And then upstairs were five sleeping rooms. Then sixty guys would spend the night here, because in those days you. Wow, this is amazing. So I said. So how do people people follow you on Twitter, sir? Mali, how do you follow me on Twitter? At Chef. What is it? S C A I P. Okay, awesome. And there, what is the website for the facility? Citytavern.com. Okay. Or you can visit a taste of history.org because the show is a nonprofit. Okay, great. Taste This is Molly, who is takes care of my left hand, right hand. Hi, Molly. No. And she's got, she's actually putting together all the information on Pittsburgh, and I was telling her how much history Pittsburgh has. It's kind of forgotten all the time. I'm, 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 I'm amazed myself. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're excited to do a show there. We're excited to have you. I'm from Pittsburgh. Oh, great. And I have oh, thank you so much. We, uh, Chef, thank you so much for joining us. No I problem. really appreciate it. And people, you can follow him on Twitter at, Ch at Chef Stay. You can go to tasteofhistory.org. Um, and when you're in Philadelphia, you have to come to the tavern. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Second of all, I'm excited. I just ate sugar, so I thought, of course, I'll have to eat in my teeth when you're talking. I know you got to go. <laughs> yeah, I can't I